Today we're doing another video on how not to waste our plastic spaghetti when we're 3D printing. So in part one and part two, we covered some really solid ways of how to reduce the waste or poop when you're 3D printing. We're going to add three more tips that may make your poop reduction even more powerful. <laughs> I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Maker Build It and today is our third video on how to reduce waste or poop in 3D printing when you're using the Bamboo Lab Studio. And let's dive into it and reduce your poop. Calibrating flushing volume. By default, Bamboo Lab Studio uses a safe amount to purge filament every time it changes materials. But the number is a bit bloated for most of us. Head to your AMS settings and you'll see flushing volumes for each filament. If you've been printing a lot and you know your colors aren't drastically different, especially if you're switching between similar shades, you can reduce these volumes by 30 to even 50%. Now if you're going from black to white, you don't want to skip too hard, but for light to light transitions or minor shifts, test reducing the purge. You'll be shocked at how much filament you don't waste. Plan color orders the best you can from light to dark. This one is all about strategy. When you're designing a multicolor print, or even just deciding what to load into your AMS, order matters. Swapping from dark colors like black or red to white means more purging, but the other way around, much less. So if possible, arrange your colors from dark to light in your model if it fits your design. And if you're printing multiple parts on the same build plate, always start with the lighter object first and then go to the darker one. It's like in painting, darker colors cover lighter ones much easier. Same idea except we're dealing with molten plastic. Use color palettes or grouped objects. Now this one may be a game changer for you. Instead of printing a bunch of multicolor pieces layer by layer, which forces the AMS to swap colors every few minutes, batch your objects by color. You could group all the parts that are single color on each build plate. Now this does require a little bit more thought into your designs, but it completely removes the swapping mid-layer. So you're basically eliminating flushing in the entire print. But this will also cause some additional time that you need to assemble your 3D prints. Overall, you'll probably save a lot of time in the process of 3D printing and even with the cost of the glue versus the cost of the filament, I'm guessing you'll save a little bit of money. So there you have it, calibrate your flush volume, go from lights to dark, and batch your objects by color. Not only will you save filament, you'll save a little bit of time, power, and a bit of your sanity. For more on 3D printing, DIY, and maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It. And remember, keep on making.